All right, what's up, Morning Show with Anthony Vlog, special uh, vlog edition. This is an app review for the David Bowie Is app. This is this uh, traveling exhibition AR experience that, uh, at least here in the New York area, was around at the Brooklyn Museum uh, up until July 15th of last year. Uh, it has since disappeared and gone on to app form. So I thought, well, here's a good and uh, fun chance to uh, do a vlog where we just kind of go through the app and uh, we take a look at the whole damn thing. So got my iPhone here and you guys can see my screen. So we open up the uh, iTunes store or I guess the app stores are calling it and we'll search David Bowie is as much as David's bridal is tempting. We're going to skip that seven ninety nine. Oh, biscuits. I hope you guys appreciate this uh, app purchase seven ninety nine for the David Bowie app. Uh, it boasts over fifty high quality three D costumes, Bowie's handwritten lyrics, notes, sketches, and more. So this should be kind of fun uh, to get into as uh, we're downloading this. Uh, don't forget to check the Morning Show with Anthony vlog every day. We upload a new episode at wehm dot com. All right, we have downloaded. We'll open that up. Awesome shot of David. David Bowie is. I'd like to begin, please. Make sure my volume is up. David Bowie showed us that we could be who we want to be. This exhibition tells the story through over 400 objects displayed in 25 rooms. Take your time, take breaks, and visit as often as you'd like. By the way, full on uh, spoiler alert here. You know, we're going to look through this whole entire app and get a feel for it. So, this is kind of like something that you want to do. Um, you know, little spoilers, we're going to see some of the stuff, so you're not going to be surprised by it. But again, I feel like before you go ahead and splurge, uh, eight bucks, uh, we can kind of uh, give you a sense if this is worth it for you or not. This app features, uh, spatial audio headphones are essential. Awesome. We're not going to plug in headphones, so that'll be fun to see. This app is designed for tabletop viewing. Cool. David Bowie would like to access your camera. Okay. Oh, you can see my computer screen. Move your iPhone slowly over a bright lit surface. All right. Let me uh, make some adjustments here. This is good to know. Oh my God, there's a thing. The thing of jig has popped up. Move my cup. We'll utilize this uh, portion of the desk here. Find my mouse. Okay, let's see. How's this? How's that? Tap to place scene here. All right. The costume silhouette in front of you should fit on your screen. This is like huge. You're going to be able to see like my lights and everything. All right, let's see. Let's recalibrate this. Uh, let's put this over the edge here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Bam. The costume still in front of you should fit to the screen. Can I shrink this? All right. This isn't at all what I was expecting, but that's why we do uh, app reviews. Whoa. Move your phone around to explore the scene. Dude. Oh, my God. Oh my God, it says Bowie behind you don't even see my little studio here. You're not even seeing that. We're just seeing the costume. Oh, my God. I look like an idiot in person, but how friggin' cool is this? I'm going to get up. Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, my God. We could, like, zoom in and everything. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Holy crap. Did you notice how fast I went from complaining to just being flat out amazed? And this is just the lobby. Oh my goodness. How cool is this? What are these buttons down here? Oh, tap. It's like the, oh, it's like the app can hear me. 
I wait a minute, what did it say? Tap. Also to to place the thing again. Tap this button to advance to the next scene. Okay. Let's go to the next scene. Loading early influences is amazing. A face in the crowd. Oh my god. Look at this. I love you can kind of see my studio light in the top left hand corner of the screen there. But it's amazing how it kind of black out it blacks out everything else that's going on here. See a little orange thumb. What is that? So if I put my look, I'm like putting my phone down to the desk. Oh my god, this is amazing. <gasps> I can move the paper. Shut up. Wow. Wow. This is cool. What do you want me to touch next? Mysterious orange finger. The sign. Oh, I swiped it. Oh. Look at this. An early 45 from DECA. Who is that? Davy Jones and the King Bees. Wow. Wow, this is amazing. I'm so glad we did this in like a split screen form. So you can see like this is just my like studio desk. But when you're looking at it through the app, it's this it's this whole different thing. It's kind of crazy. Holy cow. Look at this. Oh my god, this is amazing. This is amazing. This is the reason why I yell at people when they're like, the world's going to hell. Social media is going to kill everybody. Everybody was on their phones. Look at this. How amazing is this? We could never do this before. We couldn't do this before. Now look at us. Oh, look at the Beatles. Oh, look at this. Wow. Bowie with the Beatles. Beetle cutouts. That's so cool. Oh, man. This is some sweet stuff. Wow. Wow. This is super, super cool. That is amazing. Wow. All right. So I guess you get to kind of just like take a look, see at all this stuff. This is an actual video. I guess it's important to have headphones on, but we just don't. So we're probably missing out on all the sounds on this. That's okay. We'd, we'd probably get in trouble for doing that anyways. At least you guys kind of get a sense of uh, what this looks like. It's like a Murphy bed couch thing. Can I touch any of this stuff? 1950s suburban bedroom animated by 59 Productions. Oh, cool. I zoom in here. Whoops. Wow. This is amazing. I'm almost kind of tempted to click on this. Let me just see. I have some headphones. Let me just see if uh, this will make a difference. I'm sure it really, really will. I don't know if you'll be able to hear this on the vlog, but I'm going to test it out here and see what we got. I know from the couple of people that went, they said that it was all like there was all, like the soundscapes of the exhibit itself in the Brooklyn Museum was like wonderful. doing any of these things anyway and I realized it was because I wanted to be well known <laughs> and I wanted to be the instigator of new ideas I wanted to wow look at all this stuff this amazing perspectives. yeah and, and you it, I don't know if you'll be able to hear the sound um but it's it Bowie and stop. they've had enough the worms are turning the rebellion of the long hairs is getting underway a 17-year-old, Davy Jones, has just founded the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Long-Haired Men. 
I think we're all fairly tolerant, but for the last two years we've had uh, comments like, darling, and uh, can I carry a handbag thrown at us. I think it's just had to stop now. If anybody is chucked out of a factory job or uh, removed from a public bar or saloon bar, um, we will get a petition written up and sent to either the old... I would often buy books that were far above my head, and that I, as long as one that I could put them in my pocket so the title would show. This is crazy. All right, we're going to skip to the next event. I don't want to spend too much time on this because obviously, you know, you're going to be able to go uh, and check this out at your own pace and, and see what's what. Uh, I am enjoying this. I'm going to rate this five stars. Newspapers printed the first color photographs of Earth from space. Bowie wrote, Planet Earth is blue and there's nothing I can do. New song about an astronaut named Tom alone in space. He titled it Space Oddity, a pun on Stanley Kubrick's 1968 film, 2001, A Space Odyssey. The single was released in July, shortly before the launch of the Apollo 11 moon mission. On July 20th, the BBC played it over footage of the moon landing. By October, Space Oddity was number five in the UK record charts. David Bowie had achieved his dream, reaching that's just insane wow this is so cool <clears throat> this is amazing the the visuals the audio the fact that like like there, there's my desk and it kind of just fades in day at school and work it was all anyone discussed alluding to the patent tech phase of the iconic london designer liberty bowie called his look ultra violence in liberty fashion admiring the visual style of stanley kubrick a clockwork orange he made it his own remaking the silhouette in a bold colorful pattern he was constructing a new identity plucking ideas from everywhere because he thought that pop music Needed an airline. And through his experimentation, through his question, just sick. Noise, Bowie became a glamorous pioneer of invented. Ideas. Just sick. How sick is it to have Gary Oldman uh, narrating, too? That's awesome. Cultural influences. Wow. This is just amazing. Isn't technology just insane? All artists take ideas from the world around them, but few spread the net so wide or create something so new with what they find. Bowie's work was influenced by art, architecture, books, costume design, you know what's crazy about this like i'm sure it was nuts to be um at the brooklyn museum and wherever else this uh, exhibit traveled but to to be to, to be able to you know like totally get this close to some of the lyrics you know like you you couldn't you couldn't you can't get that close in the museum you know I mean, it's crazy. All right. I'm sure that this is all going to be uh, much similar. So I don't want to, you know, beat this to death. You kind of get the idea of uh, what this all really looks like. Wow, look at this. What are we talking about cut-ups? I've used this method only on a couple of actual songs. What I've used it for more than anything else is 
igniting anything that might be in my imagination. I mean, you can often come up with very interesting um, attitudes to look into. Now you see the app like kind of like skips around here, but I, I got a couple of weird surfaces uh, in the little studio here. So, um, but all things considered, like man, this thing is performing like a champ. It really hasn't been many hiccups or any any issues, no crashes. I've been in the studio before anybody else was even born. It was that early. How early in the morning was it, David? Like, look at this. Look how sick this is. Look how close you can get to some of the handwriting. Like, you couldn't get that close in the museum. It's just nuts. Look at this. There's video over here. Back of albums. God, that's amazing. I, you know, like, I can't help but look at this and think to myself, like, I'm not supposed to be seen. Like, I'm not supposed to be here. Like, you're not supposed to be this close. You're not supposed to be, like, you know, this all close up on these things. Like, you know, this, you weren't meant to see this, that kind of deal. But we can see it. That just it floors me. This is really amazing. I mean, there's a little bit of a load time between each thing, but not too bad at all, really. Oh, look at the outfits. Look at this. was continually creating and borrowing. Major Tom, Major Stardust, Aladdin Sane, Halloween Jack, the Thin White Sheep, Detective Nathan Abbott, the Mind Kid. But there was also David Bowie himself, a character artist who, like the artist Marcel Duchamp in 1920s film, found that you can perform by not performing, and that in a celebrity soap world, a character offspring this is just amazing i'm sure this is like a little bit of a menu thing look at this narration reading mode what's reading mode objects will move to the center okay oh look at that. oh my god it's a map this is like the whole overall thing look at this oh my god oh my god it's a journey Oh my God, this is like somebody like went into my brain. I was like, what, what would be the most amazing app we could deliver to you? And they just did it. Oh, look at this. I'll, I'll say, I guess that's the reading mode. You get the little notes on the bottom. Ziggy Stardust character and album notes. 1971. Oh, look at that. Sick. Sick. Oh, I could put it down. Oh my God! Shut your face. Look at this. Holy cow! I am in love. This is eight dollars. The best eight dollars I have ever spent on anything ever. Oh my goodness! All right, so that's the David Bowie app, and I could just like pick this up and 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 do whatever I need to do with it whenever, right? I can stop it here and move along. Oh my God, look at this. You can move around the outfit, the shoes. How insane is this? This is even more mind blowing. I don't know if it'll translate because like I'm looking at, uh, you know, the lights in my studio and the wall right behind me, but you like in the app, you can't see that. You see just another picture of David behind 
this outfit wearing the outfit with the sacks oh my god just sick sick whole description of the outfit in there that's amazing this is really cool uh, for a Bowie fan for eight bucks are you kidding me like this is like eight bucks super well spent like this is the smartest thing in the world I talk about this on the morning show all the time but you know I'm not afraid of the where we're going in the world I'm really not nothing none of this scares me robots taking over and Twitter killing everybody and information and it nothing none of it scares me this is what I'm excited about like this is the thrilling time like I'm he I'm an hour or so hour and eh, hour and ten away from where this was I got a three-year-old and a one-year-old and I could not make it could not in the in the four months whatever it was it was there couldn't make it down there and that was me and I'm right here imagine the people that live in Omaha or Kentucky that are huge Bowie fans that would never have have a chance to experience this and now they can now they can experience you know this app and and what it is and, and get closer to him and the music and everything it's just amazing this is amazing and I would urge um, you know uh, record labels and bands and musicians out there to take care of their stuff and what they're doing and set yourself up to be in a position like this because honestly if these items weren't saved if these things weren't archived uh, if we didn't have this material to record and translate digitally to people like we 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 wouldn't have this we wouldn't have this app and and how and all the amazingness that it brings with it um and i just hope that the music industry recognizes this because this shouldn't just be for the artists like david that were legendary and that left us you know we should be able like why don't i have an app like this uh right now for dave matthews band why don't i have this for van morrison uh why don't i have this for hosier you know what i mean like Every one of these artists should be thinking about this step, developing this step of the process, because this is the next step of the process. It really, really is. I know Ellen John has done a whole bunch of stuff like this. Um, uh, I know Neil Young took all his. Uh, we did this on a, a previous morning show vlog. I'll try and post it. If not, just go back and search the morning show vlog archives where we went into the Neil Young archives. We took a look at his website and all that, that entailed. And that was amazing, but that's not on here. You know what Neil Young did. I don't think Neil Young has an app. I'll, I'll double check. I could be wrong. Let me know uh, in the comments, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, however you like to message people, email. All my info is at WEHM.com under the on air tab. Click on Anthony. You can get in touch with me. Um, like, the Neil Young archive needs to be here. It needs to be on this. Um, whatever Elton's developing, that needs to be on this. Like, this is amazing. And like I said, it, it just it shouldn't just be for um, all these legacy acts that have been around for 30, 40 years that are now looking back. You know, these are the things that need to be in the minds of, like I said, Dave Matthews Band, R.E.M., uh, Pearl Jam, you know, the acts that have been there for 20, 25 years, 30 years, but also the Hosiers and the Dawes and the Avid Brothers. Like, I hope they're keeping these things in mind because, yeah, it would be great 20 years from now to look back at the Avid Brothers in this way. But it would also be really amazing to follow the Avid Brothers along in their journey this way right now. Like, I say this all the time, but. Wouldn't you like to just pop on your phone in this sort of scenario and and be on stage with the Avery Brothers at a show that's going on halfway around the world? You wouldn't pay for that? I would. I would. And what would it take? A couple of extra cameras on stage? A couple of 360 cameras on stage? Be able to pop your phone on, throw your buds in, and just sit there and listen to the music and be next to Seth and Scott? Like, that's amazing. I don't know a Dave Matthews Band fan that wouldn't want to be on that stage with the guys and just moving their phone around and being able to look back at Carter and look up at Stefan and then over at Dave and then to be able to point down and watch Dave's crazy, silly dancing. 
like there's so much potential in this and there's so much more to come that is yet to be unleashed and if you're a dreamer like me and you're looking at where this could go like the possibilities are endless so i hope that there are record labels that are looking into this because right now i feel like a lot of this technology is being used to you know make hologram tours of uh, artists that are gone and, and not with us any longer and although that's cool and that's nice and everything like i want to see this i want to see this level of interaction more so in the future with more artists because that's what we really really need all right this was cool i hope you found it worth it uh i hope you don't feel gypped i'm not going to go through the whole entire thing that's not the point you know if you want to do that spend the 7.99 and and uh and run through it yourself i'm not here to like you know blow up their uh their app uh i'm here to kind of just give you guys a, an overview of what the experience is like i didn't know you needed a surface i didn't know like i didn't know that the air the earbuds were a necessity uh for the sound and everything so we learned a couple things hopefully you learned a couple things hopefully that's what your appetite to buy it maybe it you saw it and you're like nah that's kind of a waste of my time thanks for saving me the eight bucks ant Maybe that's your thing. I don't know. I don't know how any music fan can look at this, though, and go, I'm not going to spend eight bucks on that. Like, to me, that's the perfect price point because I would spend, I would have probably bought this for 14, 18, 19 bucks for sure. Especially if, like, I wonder if they're going to be updating it. Like, I wonder if they're going to be adding material as it comes along because that would be amazing. It's true though. Like, why? Uh, why should uh, why should Kim Kardashian be the only one to have an app? Kim Kardashian came out with an app. It was like a billion dollar business, you know, whatever it was. And however you feel about Kim Kardashian, you want to make fun of people for, you know, I don't, forget, I don't even know what the app is, like her makeup or clothes or whatever. Like, hey, she's servicing her fans, right? Like, she's providing something that her fans want. What music fan doesn't want to get? virtually closer to their favorite artists we all do it's kind of insane to say and think but the whole music industry could take could take a note from kim kardashian all right let me stop my screen cap here that's done uh, i hope you enjoyed this uh, in-depth app review on the morning show vlog if you did, let us know through the various ways, the thumbs up, send us a comment, share our video. Uh, again, videos go up every single day that we do the show at WEHM.com. So you can see a whole list of all the stuff that we had covered in the past. It's kind of cool. The graphic is kind of the uh, app cover is really, really sweet picture of David in there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, anyway, if you enjoy this one in particular, um, I'm kind of like digging the app thing. Maybe we'll sort of review some more apps in the future. I know there's a lot of music making apps. Uh, I know there's a lot of other cool stuff up there, um, but um, I'm a big tech guy. This was right up my alley because tech and music coming together is super huge. Only way this could have been better is if the app served me a Twinkie, then I would have absolutely died and gone to heaven. Um, but if you want to kind of see more of the app review stuff like that, uh, you know, let me know in the comments. Again, like I said, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Uh, all my contact information is up at WEHM.com under the on air tab. Click on Anthony and we'll see you on the next morning show with Anthony vlog.